juice with apple and hemp seeds with pollen. Welcome everybody, this is Matt Monarch and Angela Sykes with the Raw Food World TV show. And today is Sunday, December 28th. And Sunday is a very special day because Sunday is wrap up Sunday. And what we do is we go through all, we wrap up the entire week of all the fun stuff that we've experienced on the Raw Food World TV show. That's pretty exciting. Wonderful. Yes. And um, we're going to be doing that every single Sunday. So the first thing I'd like to talk about is my mom. She was in the very first episode. And many people were, were asking, how did I know the Little Mermaid song? <laughs> like, how did I know the words? How that? do you know the Little Mermaid song? <laughs> well, um, when I was younger, I it was in, I'd say, high school. No, 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 junior high school, actually. Um, you know, there was this cute girl, and she liked the Little Mermaid, and we <laughs> she sang it all the time, and, you know, we started just... Okay, um... <laughs> So I just watched the movie a lot, and it was it was a lot of fun, and it just stuck to me those words to that song. I don't know any other one other songs. Like I remember "Under the Sea." Under the, the Sea. I don't really know the details of that song, but that <laughs> one just <laughs> stuck with me. I don't know why. Um, my brother, as you know, was cringing when I was singing. But what can you do about that? Mm -hmm. We've been getting a lot of response from the intermediate diet um, that my mom is on. I guess one of the reasons why is because she looks so good at her age, and by adhering to this type of diet. And so people have been asking, like, what is the diet? Like, how do you do it? What's, how do you succeed on it? And so um, what I decided to do was create a teleconference, which will be held on January 8th. And you can see all the details below. Below, yeah, below. And um, it costs 22 bucks, but um, what I'll do is I'll speak for one to two hours on how to succeed on an intermediate diet and explain exactly what it is. And by the end of that call, you will be completely empowered to um, change your dietary, improve your dietary lifestyle. And um, also, after that one to two hours is up, I plan to stay on the phone and answer all the questions that any of you have until we are all satisfied. Well, at least until midnight uh, that night. But moving right along, my brother was... That was a profound video. I got a lot of response from that. Um, thank you for everybody for sending in all your comments to my brother because he left his email below that video and he got so much feedback on how the the raw food diet and spirituality kind of work together and um, I thought that was pretty profound. We had a lot of questions in regards of Yum Pots on yesterday's video. I tried to explain it but you know I didn't do too good of a job. And so I thought maybe Angela could explain what her yum pot is. She eats them every single day. We talk about them all the time. What is a yum pot? What is a yum pot? Um, a yum pot is a little bit undefinable because it could include anything sweet and yummy, basically. Um, so, yeah, I, I grew up in a family where after everything savory that I ate, I would eat something sweet. So that's the background I came from, and I haven't got past that yet. <laughs> um, Mr. Monarch, I don't know if you, did you grow up with that same thing? Yeah. yeah. But he left that behind, he doesn't do that. He just will eat a huge salad and then that's it, he's done. But it just doesn't work for me. The, the interesting part of a meal to me is the sweet part. I have a really sweet tooth. So for me, it's kind of like I'm eating the, the vegetables and the green stuff to get to the sweet stuff. <laughs> so, um, the yum pots are like creations that I make after every savory meal so that I get something yummy and sweet into me. They usually involve low glycemic um, sweet powders. Like in the video we showed you yesterday, I was using lacuma powder and well, I put some maca in, which isn't really a sweetener. Um, and I might use things like yakon powder, stevia, um, what other powders do we have? Carob powder mesquite powder, there's lots of different low glycemic sweeteners you can get hold of. And I usually just mix those together with, sometimes with some kind of fat, so it might be like a nut or seed butter, like almond butter or macadamia butter or something yummy. Um, sometimes just with water, you know, it's 
doesn't need to be anything complicated and yeah it's not maybe like the most beautiful presentation for a young pot um, and if you have relatives who are a bit raw skeptical they might not be that into it but for me I've done this ever since I went raw you know I've made little yum pots of some kind after a meal and it just really works for me you know it satisfies my sweet tooth without me eating you know like a whole raw pie or something you know or something or having fruit I don't want to have fruit after I've just had a meal because that's like horrible digestion issues so um yeah I just I mix those things up in a little pot and I eat them that's what I do that's a yum pot. Yeah, a little pot is like a little Tupperware or something like that just really small she'll take the powders mix it in water and nut butter and it's just she, it's just a little bit and it it's not that bad of a food combination because they're low glycemic powders they're not not really sugary but it does it gives, it does the job it's awesome and what she does is she usually eats two times a day and um, it has energy soup as her meal that's like all the greens blended salad or whatever and then afterwards she just has her little yum pot just a little yum pot and below um, we actually have a recipe video of me creating a yum pot for her um, it, this one has coconut oil and it's it's a bit like intense but you know um, in the future we'll, we'll be making yum pots on probably this week we'll do some How's and we it? have a yum bull recipe as well yeah. that we can put a link to so down below yum pots and yum balls Great. Okay, so on another episode, um, what Angela did one morning was she woke up and she bought the URL tissuesgirl <laughs> tissuegirls.com because she had a um, she had a dream, and she just spent the fifteen bucks on tissuegirls.com. That was alright. <laughs> so um, I was actually dumbfounded by the response we got on tissuegirls.com. There was like 15 to 30 comments of people giving us suggestions on what to do with tissuegirls.com. You're a creative bunch. We love you. Now, if anybody would like to purchase this, since there's so many <laughs> tissuegirls.com, um, let us know down below and um, we will sell it to you at a great price. <laughs> I'm done with it. Oh, but there's so much potential. Okay, so, um... <laughs> so, um, the last thing that we wanted to talk about today on Wrap Up Sunday was the dogs, um, our delightful little canine friends who are living with us at the moment. Sandy, Panda and Leda, who we introduced you to this week. Yeah, we, we really want to say thank you so much to everyone who sent in suggestions and ideas and recipes and links and so much stuff that people sent in in regards to the dogs thank you so much we really appreciate it um and yeah we'd please if you feel the pull to do so please keep sending love and healing towards all three of them they still have a long way to go later the smallest puppy especially today is looking kind of weak um so please yeah keep sending love and healing towards all three of them um, there is an intention to try to get them back to the US and um, see how the healing unfolds from there. So, um, yeah. Also, I know um, if we don't keep these dogs, someone else is probably going to take them over. There's a good possibility. And we're kind of trying to figure out if we're going to continue to feed them a raw food diet because they're probably going to need rabies shots and stuff like that. And if they're really on a clean diet, that could present a problem. So we're thinking of, you know, we're not sure what we're going to do yet. So if you have any suggestions, that's cool too. Okay, so the question of the day. Take action. What would you like to see the Raw Food World TV show? What type of episodes would you like to see? Post that right down below and um, we'll, we'll get on that. Um, also, we're very excited about um, how this TV show is going to evolve. <laughs> Hello, this is Panda. This one's the healthiest of them all. He's just out Ooh. of control. She. She. There we go. Mwah. Oh, I love puppy smell. Love it. Um, so our, webs our, our TV show is going to be expanding and expanding. And um, 
at some point we'll have music at the beginning with a little screenshot of the raw food TV, world tv show so just and puppies puppies and all this fun stuff so um this puppy smell yum this is panda <coughs> matt monarch angela stokes and we'll see you tomorrow at the raw food world tv show Collections complete. Wouldn't you think I'm the girl, the girl who has everything?